Hello viewers welcome back to our exclusive english and educational updates and as part of ssc 10th class public examination model papers and analysis videos in today's short video we will be exploring vocabulary section with special focus on question number 23 which means identifying expressions containing language functions plus we will be also looking at question number 22 polite request as well as modal verbs with specific examples and their respective tricky uses so dear viewers can you observe the given language function or identifying expression you could take an umbrella now dear viewers can you comment in the reply section is it a permission an offer or a suggestion so it's very tricky and it all depends upon the context speaker's mood intention we will discuss the tips and how to score easily and effortlessly in upcoming slides so dear viewers please do subscribe and encourage us to do more educational and studies related content videos click on bell icon to get alerts and updates if you go to playlist after home and videos tab you can access various kinds of available informative videos on career guidance scert learn a word a day SSC SSC 10th class official model papers and recently updated all subject wise analysis videos and more importantly our samagra shiksha academic programs all these videos are available under this playlist tab you can watch them and get benefited now let's move on to our important topic modal verbs so what does the modal verb refer to or modal auxiliary refer to So dear viewers can you observe the given sentence what is a modal verb a modal verb is a special kind of helping verb and it helps the main verb to express the mood of the subject and at the same time it can also indicate or refer to possibility persuasion ability willingness and so on so all different functions and their implied meanings we will discuss one by one step by step process please have patience and please watch the video completely so that you will get crystal clarity on the uses of each modal verb and these are the suggested or uh, extracted examples of modal verbs now let's move on to the next slide so this uh, mind map or a concept map or a word map contains different modals modal verbs and their functions Uh, we will explain and the function differs the uh, depends upon the context and the speaker's mood or intention so let let us observe some of the modal verbs here can can mean ability doubt astonishment permission polite request so can ane oka modal verb ni samarthyaniki sandehaniki surprise aakshary vyaktam cheyadaniki లేదా అనుమతి తీసుకోవడానికి లేదా రిక్వెస్ట్ విన్నవించడానికి అనుమతి పోవడానికి కూడా మనం వాడతాం సో వన్ మోడల్ వర్బ్ క్యాన్ మల్టీ ఫంక్షన్ కెన్ హ్యావ్ మోర్ దాన్ వన్ ఫంక్షన్ లైక్ వైజ్ మే కెన్ మీన్ పర్మిషన్ సపోజిషన్ విత్ డౌట్ ఇఫ్ నాట్ ప్రొహిబిషన్ మస్ట్ కెన్ మీన్ అబ్లిగేషన్ ఫర్మ్ నెసెసిటీ లాజికల్ కన్క్లూజన్ ప్రబబిలిటీ షెల్ కెన్ mean intention supposition or expressing a suggestion will wish desire confidence in the future or to moral duty insistent advice strict recommendation need necessity have to unwillingness or forced circumstances would may express wish polite request a habit of the past likewise each modal has different functions but we will confine to only from the ssc public examination point of view with practice sheets and their respective uses so here under column modal all modal verbs are listed under examples sentence examples are given and their usages so here our focus is is it an ability or a suggestion or a request or certainty like that we need to understand from the given statement so he, he can find any street in london so it refers to an ability 
can you take me to victoria station please request you can take taxi suggestion he is able to find any street ability that store can't be true that story can't be true so it's expressing certainty i could play tennis when i was younger ability past ability could you take me to victoria station again a request more formal you could take a taxi suggestion like this we have all these ex listed example sentences and their corresponding usages now my explanation is not the main criteria here in this slide we will go to the next slide and observe so here these are the ssc examination model identifying expressions that you can focus on so in examinations all these expressions under column b are are listed and we need to select the appropriate expression here so can i leave now could i leave the office a little early can i see the manager may i come in so may i take you to dinner so here can and may are happening or placed at the beginning of the sentence where ending in question mark can mean seeking permission so dear students please understand this uh, place of the model verb and type of question so that we can understand the underlying identifying expression now second one you can go now you may go now you could take the umbrella from the shop or from the store it's raining outside so here giving permission is not possible it can mean a suggestion or an offering or even permission to if you say that you could take the umbrella the umbrella the particular umbrella which is available which is there in the store or shop and suggesting it's raining outside so it depends upon the given context so now let us go to the main slide here you could take an umbrella and an article is placed here it means any umbrella so it can be a suggestion and if you if you replace an with my you could take my umbrella then it can mean an offer if you say you could take the umbrella from the store it can mean a permission so it all depends upon the kind of context and the speaker's intention or mood so is it clear now dear students now let's move on to expressing possibility so here it may rain in a few minutes he may take your advice it might be an idea to postpone the release of the film so predicting or expressing possibility and now seeking information can you tell me could you tell me something is gets followed here could you tell me where the post office is could you tell me where the bus station is it is under polite request so you to your stranger to locate the place all these types of sentences come under seeking information now let's observe some more suggestion you should consult a doctor you had better consult a doctor why don't you consult a doctor so why don't you and had and should always uh, placed second place after the subject there can mean suggestion let's go back at once the suggestion let us is also here is a uh, important keyword to understand that it is a suggestion then it's time it's time we bought a new car it's time we went home it's time we watched that movie saw our movie it's high time means we thought of watching it but we could not watch it but right now it's high time that we must watch it that is the suggestion means it is not a past activity it is future activity but using the v2 or past form of the verb bought perhaps you would apologize for your rudeness so it is realization knowing the fact and knowing the mistake and recalling it they also come under suggestion how about going for a walk could we see a film tonight so here could is at the beginning of the sentence cannot be a permission can mean a suggestion instead of could i think we can use shall we see a film tonight so it's a suggestion 
These books are to be returned to the library. It's getting late. Why don't you take taxi? Why don't? Why couldn't? All these important uh, keywords mean suggestion. Now let's go to request. So request can be easily identified with these expressions. Please, could, would you mind, always remember, would you mind follows ing form v1 plus ing and we will discuss in the polite request because they are inseparable keep quiet will you can you help me please will you call me before you leave won't you get me a little water please so here request could you tell could is in the beginning so automatically it means the request now refusing request so if you have a words like this i am sorry I'm sorry, I'm afraid, such kind of uh, repentance words, you can say, refusing request nicely, politely. I'm sorry, but I can't help you. I'm sorry, but we had to refuse your request. No, I'm afraid, I can't do that for you. So refusing request polite in a polite manner. Now offer, shall I do it for you? Shall I get you a cup of coffee? Can I help you? Will you join us for a tea? It's all offering. Can I carry the bag for you? So the student must have seen you carrying the heavy baggage uh, from your shoulder. Definitely students comes, come forward and they say, Sir, can I carry the bag for you? It means offering from the student's point of view. Could I give you a cup of coffee? So you are very tired. Your face says so. You are very exhausted. At the end of the day, so somebody says, could I give you a cup of coffee? It means an offering from the listener's perspective. You can have a my bicycle for a few days. So here my, my, this my is important here. So my means from my side. So offering is, it means offering. Shall I wait till you come? So it's an offering or suggestion also. It can also mean suggestion, but it is confusing. Now expressing opinions. So all these uh, extracted sentences can mean expressing opinion, giving warning, giving warning. If I find your dog in my garden again, I'll report to the police. Very important expression for the examination point of view. So report to the police can be a caution, can be a warning. What a stupid idea, exclaiming or criticizing. What a beautiful flower the rose is, exclaiming or praising. It would be glad if you attend the function. Suggestion and inviting. Showing surprise. What? Are you out of your mind? Are you senseless? Are you out of your mind? It's showing surprise and expressing some kind of uh, uh, sudden feeling. Oh, what is that? Who has gone dead? Showing surprise. Inadequacy. So here I don't have enough. The keyword is enough means inadequacy with the negative word here not i have not had enough money to buy a new car i don't have enough clothes for my journey so it's expressing inadequacy these days the uh, in examination point of view the paper setters have chosen inadequacy inviting exclaiming some different uh, expressions so be careful and be thorough with all attracting attention hist listen Scolding. How careless of you to drop the camera. Scolding. So, how careless are you? Is that scolding expression? Teachers, as teachers, we do scold our students by saying different expressions. Hoping. I wish you were a little more helpful. So, it's expressing hope. Thank you. Wasn't it very kind of you? It's so nice of you. It's so kind of you. It's so nice of you. It's so sweet of you. All such expressions are expressing thanking in the in terms of language functions. So with this, we complete uh, question number 23, identifying expression. Now we will go to question number 22, polite request. So this is the structure of a uh, polite request. Could you please? So you will easily get two marks just by adding this expression. Could you please plus V1? Could you please give me a pen? And if you want to be more polite, you can say it's very difficult, but still you can prefer. Would you mind giving your pen? Would you mind giving me your pen? ING follows here after V1. Just if you want to be very simple and very 
informal just please give me your pen so any of the uh, answers which are relevant can be awarded marks easily uh, if you follow this structure so here uh, you to your father allow me to go to a movie so after completion of examinations you uh, tend to ask your father uh, sir, uh, can you allow me to fa to watch a movie so then could you uh, please is preferable here is to sound more polite you are in a new town you don't know the way to the central library make a polite request so you are in the town Bravakonda town you don't know how to reach this library central library then you can say could you please show me the way to the central library and in the end in question mark please remember to put question mark at the end of the polite request if it is having only please then end with full stop so like this you can explain and you can understand the question number 23 and 22 easily and these are the uh, practice sheet worksheets please do reply these are not using modals please understand modals different so shall i make a cup of coffee offering shall i carry this bag for you offering help it's time we went home so this in the past form as i said it's a suggestion board of directors said examinations might be in new pattern so this might can give us a clue to say that's possibility learn most of the things through discussions so it is an advice or it can be uh, a kind of instruction you had better consult a doctor so we already discussed had better such kind of keywords mean giving advice it's time we saw the movie so we said we discussed the movie saw with that example it means of making a suggestion so with this we end the video we shall happy learning and keep learning please do subscribe and encourage us to do more educational videos and go to our playlist you can access all videos thanks a lot have a great day